Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is a story time. I originally filmed this, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna post it because I was like, no, I'm gonna try to give the motherfucker benefit of the doubt, but no, people still wanna be on bullshit, so I have to call people out on their shit, so let me just get into it. Um, I was hanging out with this guy, I'm gonna call, call him Country Man. And we met on Facebook dating. We he we chilled twice. Um, anyway, he just came off really clingy. <laughs> um, he after we first hung out, he was telling me he loved me, telling me he wanted to marry me, which I was like, we just met like slow your fucking roll, dude, like slow it. Um, so um yeah, we um okay, so Thanksgiving. I went over to my aunt's with my best and Cheryl to see my grandparents, and I was over there. And Friday, he was he was basically giving me fucking attitude, which which I which which I did not fucking appreciate it. He was mad because so he wanted to call me on fucking Thanksgiving night, but I was busy playing a game with my grandparents with my Grand with my grandmother, aka my nanny, and my baby cousin, and my best friend Cheryl. And I was like, I'm busy playing this game with my with family. Like, I can't be on the phone, blah, blah blah. And plus, my phone was about to die to charge it and shit. So the next day, um, we got into it. He was being hella disrespectful, being hella rude. He was feeling like you know I didn't have time for him, all this shit. And I'm just like, dude, are you kidding me? And all because I told him I wasn't going to be on my phone as much on that day because it was my best friend Cheryl's birthday was Sunday. She was turning 30 on Sunday, so we're going to hang out the whole week and do a friendship, you know, with her for her birthday. And he was just giving me attitude. And he was cussing at me and shit. And he just was being hella rude, so I went off of him and, and so that should have been the end of the story. But no, because I'm such a fucking dumbass. I ended up, um, show, we didn't talk, I ended up unblocking him on Sunday, and I ended up talking to him, uh, I had him made a Snapchat, because I was trying to reset my Snapchat, and I kept changing the password, but it wasn't sticking, so I had to make a new one, and we're talking that one, I know my dumb ass should not have even talked to him again, I should have just kicked the step and been like, you know what, you, you're too clingy, like, you know, you just do too much, like, is it gonna work? But it's like no. So anyway, um, so it was crazy. Okay, so two other things fucking happened, y'all. Telling you all the story, I'm looking back, like all the red flags, like him being constantly clingy, him constantly blowing my phone. And another thing, I'm I'm gonna throw out there was that um, we talked about New Year's and my birthday, and I was telling him that I was gonna talk with my friends, and he was like, well. I won't be around you because you're drinking. He was just basically being like a buzzkill. Like, he wasn't going to try and be there, you know, for me to show up my friends and stuff because we're going to be alcohol involved, which I, I thought was bullshit. And another thing I'm going to throw out there. This dude, the little fucking was telling me that he, he was not sexual. He was like, you know, I'm not into sex with love. But what's funny is this motherfucker kept talking about who he, he wanted to go down on me. But what's crazy is, like, you say you're not sexual, but you keep talking about wanting to go down on me. Which is like, no. Hell no. And, um, so... I'm throwing that in there. So what happened was, I, I hung out with Cheryl this weekend. And he was on some bullshit on Saturday. And we video chatted on Saturday. And he wanted to accuse me of hanging out with some other dude. I was, I'm not stupid. My mom's always told me... That if you're dating somebody and they accuse you of cheating, it's because they're fucking dude. Number one, me and this guy, we're not, we're not even officially a fucking thing at all. We're not. And he wants, has a nerve to accuse me of chilling with another dude. I was like, no. I some picture of Sherelle. I said, no, I'm hanging out with Sherelle. And he was just being, calling me a liar, all this bullshit. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. He's done. And then, later that day, he was just me a messenger. He's like, sorry. What happened was... I asked him, I was like, would you ever be considered? I still got threesome. And so he took that 
as me telling him I'm just going to be hanging out with another guy, which is bullshit. Then the final straw, this was the final straw that I was like, I'm done with this dude. Like, I can't deal with this shit anymore. Was that I was in a gay group on Facebook and I was looking for friends. He got hella mad and was hella fucking pissed at the fact that dudes were responding that were down with one to be friends with me and he had an issue with that. And I was like, and I was like, no, I'm good. And plus this guy's 27 years old, younger than me, too clingy. Like, I don't need that shit in my life. I don't. Like, damn, I've been single for two years, but I'm not trying to put up with being unhappy. No. And also with the motherfucker that doesn't know what the hell they want. And with another and another thing, he <laughs> also had an issue with on New Year's was that because he was asking about all my friends are gonna be sleeping, and I told him I'm just gonna be sharing with that with my other best friend Steven and he had a problem with that and all this shit. And I was like, see, there's nothing between me and Steven. Like our our friendship is like we're like brothers. He's my oldest best friend, like I'm thinking from like that we're, we're family. And he just had an issue with that, so I was like, no. So moral of the video and the story is if you're dealing with somebody that's uh, y'all start talking and they're constantly blowing up your phone and they want to tell and they tell you they love them and that, that's that thing I must say he was trying to pressure me t to tell him I loved him even though I didn't fucking love him and yeah yeah and I was just like no that's good I'm gonna just be single I'm gonna do me I blocked him on everything so he can't even get in contact with me again on the bullshit. But yeah, guys, that's the story time of the clingy country man. Um, guys, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. I mean, I was too nice. Like, I gave this motherfucker too many fucking chances. But I'm not doing it again. I'm not going into next year dealing with that shit anymore. No, I'm not. Love you guys. And peace.